Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. Uh, so I have a special, little special quickie video update today. Um, I have been working on my RPM Challenge album uh, and I built this contraption. I've got some rabbit egg spawn eggs and some miscellaneous other stuff in these four dispensers around the circle. Um, the circle is has a radius of 16 blocks so that when I'm standing here um, the next block out which is 17 blocks I will not be able to hear the dispenser and I have music and sounds I have friendly creatures turned off probably will also turn off this the ambient environment to get rid of the spooky sounds and things like that also creatures don't matter and players don't matter um, but block sounds I may want to turn that up but jukebox I have up at a hundred percent and music and weather off that is so I can come here and do this hit this switch which lights his power rails give the little minecart a push and as it goes around it spawns rabbits sometimes has about a one in three chance for each of these is spawning a rabbit versus a sign and sometimes they just sit there sometimes they land on one of these pressure plates but eventually the rabbits start moving around they start hopping and i can't hear the little footsteps i can't hear the it's a really bad impression but like this guy he starts moving around and when he jumps onto a pressure plate the pressure plate goes click hi click wait I have rabbit hides over here there we go so they go click 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 and if I stand here in the center wait. okay good I thought that was a hole for a second stand here in the center as the rabbits get as there's more and more rabbits they start hopping more and more and I get more and more clicks so this is my percussion. And the rabbits all start on the outside and it's soft and quiet. And as they start dispersing, they will fill in closer to me. And, uh, and the clicks will get louder. And because it's, uh, it's in stereo, so the way I'm facing will determine where on the stereo spectrum the clicks are so I can go into cinema mode and I can just sort of rotate like this and get kind of sweeping sweeping uh, stereo panning now I think if I turn off block sounds I can actually be riding in the minecart which will give me additional effects but I don't want it that was kind of an original plan Oops. screenshot hey rabbits You notice, hi. Uh, I put I I put uh, redstone lamps all over the place, so when they hop on a thing, it lights up at the redstone lamps around them. And it's kind of like a little cellular autom automata. Since I turn off weather, I don't care so much about the rain, but it looks horrible, so we'll get rid of it. I wish you could just turn weather off, you know, permanently. So then for the next second, so this is kind of the percussion of my piece. And by putting a mixture of spawn eggs and other things, I'm using signs, but, um, and if I put an equal number, it's sort of, or the number will determine essentially the chance of it being a rabbit and sort of the speed or the ramp with which it becomes all rabbits. And if I put in four stacks of, of rabbit eggs, by the end, by the time they get done, I'll have, you know, in that case, I would have uh, 256 rabbits hopping around here, making quite a racket. 
and it would take uh, take a while. So I have to sort of uh, the the minecart moves with only a certain speed. So it's about 10 or 11 seconds per dispenser. So I have to sort of figure out how to get it to ramp to the amount of noise that I want for the duration of the piece that I'm going for. And when it's all done, I can just hit the the uh, this lever here and then the minecart will stop moving so I can I can sort of turn it off when I want but I can also let it go until it's done because it won't be I won't be hearing the uh, I won't be hearing the clicks from where I'll be standing and then there's this piece down here so I've got note blocks and I've got hopper clocks and little mechanisms here, a remote mechanism to turn on and off the hopper clocks. And the hopper clocks have very different numbers of items in them. Uh, and they all happen to be prime numbers. So this one has three, so it goes fairly regularly. This one has seven. This one is 17. And this one is 20, or sorry, 31. And if you notice, something about these numbers if you respond to numbers the way I do you'll notice they're all prime numbers and so basically they won't all sync until it's uh, it'll take quite a while for them to sync up um, I do like the little patterns that that happen okay so if I do this then the hopper clocks will start so this one takes the longest to go so it'll play it's not a random pattern but it's a constantly changing pattern and occasionally depending on what state which no, which note block is going to play next it will determine whether the uh, when the notes overlap and when they don't and because these the hopper items are fractional seconds you'll get times when the note blocks play at the same time and there are times when they're slightly off and so I'm still playing with the the notes to play um, it's a little frustrating because you don't have it would be really nice if the note blocks had a GUI where you could select what note it would play instead when it's brand new it, it plays an F which is just weird there's no good reason for it to start at F and then you have to click it a certain number of times in order to get to the note you want um, and in theory with this arrangement the short one should go bonk, 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 bonk. And then this one will be bonk, 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 bonk. And then this one will be even longer. So as it gets more into the pattern, it should sort of become a little bit more regular sounding. And then at some point it'll slow down and, and sort of eventually sink back to the point where it's just the short one going in between the pauses of all the others if that makes any sense this is the kind of stuff that excites me musically <laughs> um, and I can stop the notes there's a bit of a pause and that's intentional I'm getting it out here instead of going redstone all the way out and just putting in repeaters as often as necessary. I've got repeaters out so that there's a fair amount of time between when I click on this and it starts playing. Because I at this point at this moment I've got this this piston here and I'm I need to figure out how to get rid of that piston sound. Um, I have to play and see if I can isolate that without dampening the um, the uh, pressure plate sounds uh, that would be nice if I could just mute them uh, or get tricky and go in and, and delete the sound file the piston sound files 
uh, from the Minecraft jar. Uh, and then I also have this. If I just want to cause all the, the rabbits to stop hopping, that kills all the rabbits. Um, now, you know, some lights are on because they drop little, you know, rabbit hides and rabbit meat. And uh, the minecart's still going around. So now I've still got rabbits getting dispensed. So it'll stop once it comes over here. So what I want to do is put in a control panel down here so I can throw a switch and have it go up here and control this switch so I can turn off the minecart. Um, to get it started, I do have to click on the minecart. Oh, shoot. Um, lever, please. Uh, I do have to give the minecart a little bit of a nudge, and I don't know how to improve that. So I've got a couple of these command blocks to kill all the rabbits. In a few spots, just to get rid of them all. And over time, if we wait five minutes, the the ones that are sitting on pressure plates will despawn causing the pressure plate to click again um, which could be part of the of the score as you will so this is what we call experimental music and I, when i say experimental in this context i mean experimental in the sense of what i like to call capital e experimental in the michael nyman definition uh, so this is experimental music wherein the score which for normal or traditional music non-experimental music the score is a bunch of notes written down on a page and then the performers go through the page and follow the notes like instructions of play this now play this now and it's within certain parameters every performer is going to put their own sort of read on it and they're going to put their own inflections uh, but in theory Every time that that piece of that score is played, it'll sound roughly the same. With experimental music, you build in some randomness, some ambiguity, uh, so that every time it's performed, potentially it sounds different. Um, or think of it in the sense that the composer doesn't necessarily know exactly how it's going to sound when composing so um and if i choose the right set of notes here it'll sound it'll sound pleasant and i'm trying to go for a c major chord here and in, in uh you know seconds and thirds and fifths and and do it in such a way that it just kind of sounds like c it'll sound pretty that's kind of what I'm going for. But I'm researching to see. I'm playing around on a keyboard to figure out what uh, what sounds I really want. Because this one sounds a little bit off. And either I have the note set wrong or I chose poorly. We'll see. <laughs> and so little, little, little bits like that. And then... I kind of like because I have no ear for writing melodies uh, but I can build a machine that does or at least generates them and then we uh, we pick the ones we like all right so that's that's where we're at with this I will probably do additional uh, additional videos here as I move along and make progress and I'm going to record the performance itself. Um, last year's RPM challenge, I recorded, it was uh, mine carts, sort of randomly picking up and dropping stuff uh, and done in such a way that I recorded it and then I took it and I did some heavy processing on it in order to make it long the way I wanted it. Um, this I'm thinking of designing it, trying to design it so that it plays the way you hear it there pretty much uh, normally. So the, uh, the amount of items in the dispensers will largely be uh, designed with uh, that duration in mind. 
uh, but I'll play around with a few things and I will record the actual performance of the piece and probably include that as a uh, as a video here so if this is interesting to you keep keep an eye on things uh, subscribe to the channel and when there's more oops, then uh, you'll see it uh, otherwise uh, you can check out my Bandcamp page that's where I'll, I will release the stuff when it gets done um, I'll put it up there so you can listen to it download it purchase it if you want or not I, I always price my stuff sort of pay what you want because uh, this isn't this isn't how I make a living this is a hobby and I have no pretense that this is great important music I just uh, I like the way it turns out sometimes and uh, and figure with six or seven billion people in the world maybe a few others might as well so there you go all right uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned and you'll see more and I'll talk to you later bye